everybody. Welcome to Naughty Yarnies. My name is Barb and as you probably noticed on the title, this is my Hirschner's haul at last. I shouldn't say at last because the last time I ordered from Hirschner's was back in May 2020 and it took six and a half weeks for my, my uh, yarn haul to get here. This time it took only two and a half weeks. And I don't even think it was a half week. I think it was like two weeks, maybe two days. So it come in a great big box. I'm not sure if I'm show, gonna show you a picture of the whole box, but I'll try to lift it up here. Oh my goodness. So you can see how large it is. So I'm gonna have this on the floor. Okay. And I haven't opened it, guys. I got it in on Friday. Today is Monday night. That's hard to do when you're crazy about yarn and you want to see what's inside, even though you know you ordered it and you know what's inside. Like I haven't seen like probably 90% of this yarn. I have never seen felt in real life. Like I've only seen it online on their website and in the magazine. So I'm going to cut it open and we're going to see it all together. So um, I'm not sure if there's a thing inside to tell me how much everything was. Like I'm not going to give you a total or anything like that. But if there's a paper to tell you, tell me how much they were, I will definitely be sharing that information with you. Okay. Well, that one, that part wasn't really well together it uh it only once it cleared cut american customs then it came through canadian customs i think and it took like one day to cl clear canadian customs and the day it cleared the next day i had it in my mailbox a slip to go pick up at the mail at the mail office okay i think we're in luck for the the amount yeah, I believe they have the amounts. I'm going to try not to hit the tripod, guys, with the flap of the box. Oh, sorry, I know I hit you. Okay, there we go. That should be all the shaking I have to do. Now, hopefully, I apologize in advance for the focus. I'll try to cut out as much as I can. Like, if it takes a minute for me to focus in on a yarn, I'll... I'll cut that part out and uh, splice it together so you're not seeing too much of the uh, focusing issues that the camera has. So I guess, um, I'm not sure, oh my goodness, we've got four pages but there's not, it's not really four pages. Well the back page just says the amount and then three pages and it just has a little bit of writing like maybe 10 lines on each page. So there's not really a heck of a lot of on each page, but I'll have to flip back and forth to see when to tell you the amounts. Now, keep in mind for anybody in any other countries that this is purchased through the States. So it has American pricing on it. So I'm not sure, the exchange rate I believe was about 22 cents when I ordered it so I'm not sure what the what the difference is I also had to call the website I just want to give a huge shout out to the gentleman from Hirschner's I know he will never watch this but he oh my goodness I got a hair on my face um he like the website I tried to order from I tried to order on my phone my laptop and my iPad it was all filled out I just had to log in to each of the devices and I couldn't get it to send. I don't know if it was because it was such a large order, large price tag, why it wasn't sending in my order. But nonetheless, I called their head office and they told me to wait an hour. And if it still didn't send after an hour, to call them back. So I called them back and I got this gentleman. So helpful. So, cu wonderful customer service. He went through everyone he says okay let's start with the numbers so i would say product number then he would repeat the product number he would say what the product was 
and the color and then no he'd ask me what color I would tell him the color he would repeat it then he'd ask me the amount then he would repeat it to make sure I knew and then he would tell me the price that they were each to make sure I had the same price and then when we were all done he had mentioned about this program each year if you pay $19.99 American you save 10% off of every order for an entire year I I told him I said this is probably going to be the only order I will purchase through this year and he said yes ma'am but you're going to save $30 by purchasing it for $19.99 so right away I saved $10 right away and I went well oh, well that's a no-brainer so let's go ahead and do that so then we got to the end he says do you have a coupon code and I'm like no I'm from Canada we don't get coupon codes or anything so he looked up a coupon code for me and saved me another $57 I was just so you could imagine $57 plus the $7 so that's $67 I didn't have to change into American funds and I didn't have to pay taxes on that amount of money so that was close to a hundred dollars if not it was a hundred dollars that he had saved me just by phoning in so I was so thankful I called instead of being able to get it online he, he was so super super helpful so I'm going to keep my list over here so after I show you the yarn okay there's going to be some rustling because there's paper on top I don't know what it's protecting there is a couple things that aren't yarn. I will show you them too because they're still craft related. So first thing I see is some of this Sundance Soulful Stripes yarn. I will open the packages. If I want them closed up, I will just close them back up after. So this colorway is called gray um so uh soulful sundance let's see how fast i can can get them it might be quicker for me to just add in on the screen the amounts so that you can see them that way here we go sundance for the pack of five was 1045 so a five pack was 1045 so that's just a little over two dollars a ball and these are number one weight yarn I'll show you the colorway that's called gray and it's 75% super wash wool 25% nylon and it's machine wash dry flat made in China distributed by Hirschner's um, it is 100 grams or 3.5 ounces and 413 yards or 378 meters for each and you, you can use 2.75 millimeter knitting needles or 3.25 millimeter crochet hook this is a feels like the um, Patton's Croy sock yarn. That's what I would compare this to. It's like not super soft. It's the stuff that would wear nice for socks. That's what I'm thinking. Like I would not, I wouldn't use that for a shawl. It wouldn't be very soft around your neck at all. The next one I ordered a sweaters quantity in. I've felt this before. This is Red Heart Huga yarn. And I bought all the same colorway. Let's see where we open it from. Oh, they're in sealed bags. So I gotta rip these ones. This one. So the colorway I think, yeah, is latte. It is much darker than what it's showing there. What you see that back here is more the color than when I show up front. My ring light is making it look very bright. It's like a milk chocolate color, color or actually it's like a latte color. So if you've never seen this yarn before, it's 5 ounces or 141 grams. 
and it's 132 yards or 128 meters. Um, I'm sure it's acrylic. 70% acrylic, 30% nylon. Machine wash cool, gentle cycle, tumble, dry on low. It's a bulky weight number five. And it takes a 6.5 millimeter knitting needle or crochet hook. So for those, I purchased three bags of three. So I'll find out the price for you here. The ones in the bags, I guess I'll just throw on the floor. I have a gift bag here to put all the single ones in. I do have some single ones. So the Latte Red Heart. They have it nicely organized, I must say that. Shouldn't. Red Heart Huga Bag of Three. So they were $7.27 for three balls. $7.27 for three balls. Up here in Canada, they're $9.99 for one ball a piece. So per, I purchased three, bo three bags of three for $21.81. And that nine balls would have cost me $90. No, it would have cost me $100. No, $90. I was right first time. Would have cost me $90 in Canada. So that $21 and... 81 cents even when you switch it over to Canadian funds is still less than $30 so that was an amazing deal for that that's why I got that now I've seen um, Red Heart Chic Sheep by Marley Bird I've wanted to try her, her yarns so I figured I'd get a nice neutral to try so I purchased this in the color suede. Come on, zoom in. Of course, it's a tad bit lighter than what it actually is. This is a number four weight yarn. Um, oh, I forgot to tell you about the Huga yarn. It's super soft. Soft and squishy works like a dream. I've I've worked with it before. It's super, super luscious. And I have a sweater that I'm going to tell you about on the next podcast that I'm actually going to cast on with that. I already have a plan for that yarn. So this Chic Sheep is 100 grams or 3.5 ounces, 186 yards or 170 meters. And you can use a five point five millimeter knitting needle or crochet hook machine wash cold gentle cycle dry flat do not iron oh you can't dry clean either for some reason well it's 100% wool and does it say where it's made hmm it says there's dye lots so make sure you get enough to make your make what you're making I'm not sure guys if it says where it's made it should made in China so so I, so this is red heart sheep sheep I'm not sure if I just got three balls I'm pretty sure I didn't um sheep sheep bag of three that's one so they were $8.97 for three balls so not nine bucks rounded up nine bucks for three balls. That's three dollars a ball, and these are up here for ten dollars a ball. So I got three balls for the same price. So, but I got some other colorways of that. So we will find see if I can dig through to find them. I don't. I guess I'll find them when I come across them. So the next one I got is Premier Coffee Shop. Okay. And their bags are nicely sealed when you get a package when you get packs of three. Oh, I forgot to tell you the Chic Sheep feels just like nice rustic wool. Like I I assume the stiff stitch definition would be amazing on it. And that's exactly what I got it for was to do some color work hats like Cozy Up Knits Pine Tree Hat, Little Pine Tree Hat. 
I want to try it with that because I find the stitch definition with that yarn is amazing. Um, yeah, that's what I think I'm going to make with it. So this is Premier Coffee Shop in the colorway of ooh, turquoise, this one. And it's a light number three weight yarn. I'm going to say, yeah, it's kind of a roving yarn, guys. So there's like thinner parts and thicker as in the ball. Four millimeter knitting needles, 4.25 millimeter crochet hook. 284 yards or 260 meters. 100 grams or 3.5 ounces. 85% acrylic, 15% wool. And this is super soft. I've never felt this before. I've never seen this before, but this is soft. This is a lot softer when I, than what I thought it was going to be. So I think I'm changing my plan on what I'm going to make with it. So watch for that in upcoming podcasts. It says machine wash and warm, lay flat to dry. To make an adult medium sized sweater, it takes six skeins of this to make one. That wasn't what I had in mind to make, but we'll see. It's made in Turkey. And I assume there will be a dye lot number because I see dye lots. So these were, so these were Premier Coffee Shop. Premier, I seem to have bought a lot of Premier. I don't, don't have access to Premier yarns up here. Um... Premier Coffee Shop. That can't be the price. Um, I guess they were $2.99 uh, a cake. They must have been only $2.99 a cake. It said $2.99 and I was thinking not for three. No, they would be a cake. So $2.99 per cake. That's amazing, amazing, amazing price. And I also got, so it has the same amount, same everything, except the colorway is different. I got two cakes of the color called Columbia. That's beautiful. It's like a marled look without the marling. You wouldn't have to marl your yarn. This is gorgeous. I wish I got more of this color. This color is gorgeous. So again, these are $2.99 a piece. I don't know. I think I got three different colors. So the Columbia, yes, I there was only two available. That's why I only got two. The next color I got um, three of. Oh, and that turquoise one I bought there's an oddball I'm going to come across in here eventually let's see if I could come across yeah here's the here's the oddball of the, another the turquoise so that's the fourth ball of the turquoise and then I got yeah here's the other one that I got three of look how fast I'm forgetful I think I need sleep I've been up since 2 a.m., so I was at the gym this morning at 2. So this one I got three. Yeah, so this one's uh, one I got three of, and I believe that's all they had for this color left. And this colorway is called Sundown. This one is my favorite. It's gorgeous. Oh, doesn't this remind you of a beautiful sunset in like Nevada or somewhere like that? Like I've just seen pictures. I've never been there, but that's just what it reminds me of, of a sunset that I've seen maybe on Instagram or something. This is gorgeous color. Gorgeous. This I could see me making myself a shawl with. Definitely. And if I had enough left over, maybe even a hat with it. That's beautiful yarn. Next up we have, I don't know if I got all different colors. 
wool free wool free sorry guys for seeing the back of my head it was like a a rainbow of colors for this kind of yarn okay those are different so i got five different color oh no i got two bags that are the same so i got four different colorways of premier wool free socks stripes boy that's a mouthful so wool free look at that it's right at the front the whole bag five dollars and 47 cents per bag five dollars and 47 cents for a bag of three yarns i cannot touch that price up here like there's no we don't have like yarn like this sometimes i see people doing a yarn haul at at dollar tree or something we don't get that kind of yarn at our dollar trees like we have really terrible and small small little no name skeins of it so this is um actually this is softer than the other one that i compared to the michael's stuff this is a tad softer so i'm i'm guessing it's because it's not the with the wool in it now this is very small print if you have trouble with print this is small so what is this made out of first um do 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 wool free 93% acrylic and 7% B PBT. PBT. Would that be something like a nylon? I've never seen that on a on a label before. But anyway, this colorway is called Berry Bush. Berry Bush. Why won't you? I guess I'm cutting this part out. Hopefully I was successful to cut the part out where it zoomed in, like was not zooming in at all. So this is a number one super fine weight. Calls for my goodness 3.25 millimeter crochet hook 2.25 millimeter knitting needles machine wash and tumble dry that's pretty handy right but it's not wool made in turkey there's lot numbers for this stuff but 235 yards or 215 meters 1.7 ounce or 50 grams so this is like a half the skein of the, so it would take two skeins of this to make a longer sock. So I'm not sure if you can make shorty socks out of 50 grams. If anybody knows, I'd love to know. Let me know because I've never, I just, I'm on my second pair of socks and they're both long, long. I like longer socks. I don't like shorties really, but I will make them if, if I have one odd ball left and that I can get a pair of shorties out of it. I don't know or it's soft enough this is soft enough I'd use it for a shawl like it's not real real scratchy it's not the softest yarn ever either but I would definitely feels to me kind of like the cheaper brands of wool like Bernat wool or not wool sorry Bernat cotton that's what it kind of feels like to me in a way so I got this one the berry bush and I got the colorway I remember this one grapes so i got six balls of the grapes because this was my favorite and this i plan to make a shawl maybe with oh come on Oh my goodness, they're not zooming in. I've got to have to cut all this out.
I'm not sure what any of these buttons do. Okay guys, I'm back. I had, oh, just one second. Okay, gotta bring you closer. One, two, three. Hi everybody, I'm back. I apologize, you probably see I've changed and yeah, my battery died on my camera and it takes three hours to charge again. And it was late last night, so I figured I'd start again today. So here we are today. I left everything as is so I know exactly where I am. And I've also ordered a cord for my camera so I don't have to rely on battery power because this is the third time it's happened to me. So just for future so you know that's gonna happen. Um, I also decided, I know at the, in the first 20 minutes before it died, I noticed that when I went to show you the colors of yarn, it wasn't zooming in enough, and, like, or it wasn't focusing. And I noticed that problem before in an, another couple of videos. So I figured what I would do would be, and you've probably already noticed if I did this correctly, that I'm just gonna stick pictures of the yarn and I'll take them after I record this so that I can insert pictures because I purchased a new pattern on the laptop so now I know how to edit everything and it's working out awesome so I'm sure adding the pictures in is going to be a breeze for me. Fingers crossed, toes crossed, all the stuff. So that then you should be able to see too the true colors of everything and the wrapper and all the information and if you have any other questions just let me know. So let's start this again shall we? I'm not starting over. I'm just going to try to edit out, oh excuse me, the parts where I tried to zoom in on the, on the yarn. So hopefully I've been successful with editing those parts out. If not, apologize. So I believe we were at the sock, Wool Free Sock Stripes by Premier. So I will take those out of the buy, or the box again. So we have four different colors. So, so that's the Premier, Wool, I think that was on the first page. Wool Free Sock, okay, so for a bag of three, it's $5.47, wow. So five dollars and forty seven cents for three balls of the yarn. Now I'm not sure I think each ball will probably do one sock the way I like to do them. So I like a longer leg. Maybe I can get one shorty sock out of one. If it sounds familiar I might have said that yesterday. So I'll just go through the colors now. So I'll open the other two bags. Oh no I didn't get four colors. I guess I got an extra ball for some reason. This colorway is called Farm Stand. Farm Stand. Let's see if it'll... Okay. No, that seemed to have worked. I'm not too sure. But I'll still try to insert pictures. And then these are probably the same. Inferno or something. So timeless. Yes, these are all timeless. So I got four balls. So I got three in a bag and one separate. I think that's all they had. And I wanted to have an even number. So I got six of the one and then four of this one. And this is colorway timeless. There, that worked. I guess it's just make sure I look at the camera, show it, but I might still put pictures, especially as I'm talking about the colors of yarn. The next two that I have are from Lion Brand. They're called Amazing Lace. I've never seen these before. I've never seen them before, so I'm not sure if any of you have. They're a number one weight yarn. So 
sorry, I've got to look at them from this angle. 2.75 millimeter knitting needles or 2.25 millimeter crochet hook. Uh, machine washable and dryable, 70% acrylic, 30% nylon. And these are even softer than that sock yarn. Like with the nylon in and being acrylic, this could easily be used for socks. But honestly, it's so soft that I think this would make an amazing shawl with. And there's probably a lot on each uh, cake. There is. So this one is called Cobalt Butterfly. And this colorway is called Mesh Sage. hope they're zooming in. There is 5.3 ounces or 150 grams. That's quite a lot. You could get a tall, tall sock out of, like a pair of socks out of these, a nice tall one. And there's 1,017 yards. You could do an entire shawl. You could do two smaller shawls, like a kerchief style shawl, out of just one skein. That's an idea. I could use the both and make two and just make two two larger type shawls mixing the colors um or 930 meters so if you do meters but i think they would go really really pretty together i'm not sure if they had any other colors now for price lion brand amazing lace um Lion Brand Amazing Lace. I want to say Amazing Grace, <laughs> the song, and then I want to start singing. You don't want me singing, trust me. Um, oh my goodness, where are you? Lion Brand Amazing Lace. So they're $5.99 American each. So I can't even get like a thousand yards for the, with a Canadian and taxes, it's still under $10 for a thousand yards. Wow. So this is under $10 just for one. So that's a great, great deal. I only bought ones that were a great deal to me because I knew the prices of them locally. And so I did the kind of mental math or maybe some I bought because we don't have them around here and I was making an order anyway. And as long as it wasn't outrageous, I purchased it. I got some more of the Mar Chic Sheep Red Heart Marley Bird. Like I said to you guys, I love the definition, the stitch definition with this yarn. I've seen Marley Bird working with it. And for color work, it's amazing. So I want to do that, like I said, the little pine tree shawl. Or no, pine tree hat. So these ones, I told you already the price, but I'm going to refresh my own memory because it's been since yesterday um oh my goodness where are we chic chic bag of three for $8.97 so let's just say three bucks a ball and they were ten they're 10 Canadian per ball so this would be $30 instead of the $8.47 did I just say $8.47 eight what whatever is that $8.97 so so I'm kind of getting like almost too free so, and I told you the amounts per skein and everything on the last one, but this is called Mimosa, this color. And I will open it to show you. I wouldn't, I don't know what Mimosa, Mimosa. Oh yes, Mimosa's a drink. Yeah, champagne and orange juice, I believe. So here is the color. Guys, it's showing really bright yellow and it's not. It's a toned down, maybe it looks better back here, but it's a toned down like more of a mustardy type color. Not a bright in your face yellow. The next one I bought five balls of, or five skeins, whatever you call them, I call them balls. But I will just talk about the one, just so you know. This is Sundance Mural Maltese. I wish I got more of this. 
I only bought the five balls. I'm not sure if that's all the only color that I liked, but when you don't know what a yarn feels like for one, you don't want to take a chance in buying lots. And I did have probably double the amount in my cart than what I ended up with because I put everything in the cart that I wanted and dreamt about. Then I looked at the total and I know it's an, in American dollars and I went, oh no, I can't do that. So I had to take out a lot, a lot of colors. And some I'll tell you that I remember that I took out and this was one of them. I know I had other colors because they were beautiful and I just love, these are kind of like speckled and they're just gorgeous. So here's the color I got. This color is called Pink Petunias. I'm a pink and purple woman for sure. Look how tonal that is, right? Like it's got a like a light, light pink undertone. And then it's got some bright, like almost like pink lemonade speckles with some pale, pale mauve speckles in it. And even a couple of specks of orange in there. This is beautiful and it is soft. This is a, like a, a chained, I don't know if you'll be able to see this, but I'll try to show it to you. It's almost like a chained chain type yarn I don't know if I could get close enough I hope you could see that I'll try to get a picture I'll try to get a picture of it to show the chain it's gorgeous so this is I'll tell you the rest of the info Sundance mural Sundance mural. only three pages to keep looking at I should have organized them Sundance mural so for the bag of five was only 1045 for five so that's a little over well it's okay it's a dollar and ten cents now two dollars and twenty cents per ball 220 well to be precise 219 per ball I can't get over that like even changed into Canadian I wouldn't be able to get a three dollar ball of yarn that feels this lug luxurious this is a number two fine weight yarn 100% acrylic don't mind when it's that super soft it's 100 grams or 3.5 ounces 337 yards or 308 meters um, use size five needles no number five I'm sorry it doesn't say it in millimeters here and here it says or a size F hook F G H that may be a 3.5 3.75 in around there again the color is pink petunias and it's beautifully soft and I plan on having this into a shawl maybe. It might be in a uh, color. I also seen a shawl that Stephen West had. I, it's a honeycomb. That's what it is. A honeycomb pattern. So you, I I'm pretty sure I'm going to do like a medium gray as all around the honeycombs. And then this would, with the splashes of color and behind all the pastel colors would look amazing. So I think that's what I'm going to use those five balls for. So let me know if you've ever used any of these yarns or what projects you've made with any of them. Tag me on Instagram if you have used them and you think, hey, I have that one on my Instagram already. Tag me. I would love to see what you made out of it. Another one I wish I bought more of, and I'm not sure the price offhand, but first I'm going to look up the price. Maybe next time I do one of these videos, I will just, instead of looking it up in the video, I'll just put the price with the picture. So these were, this is fast, these were $4.99 a piece. So I kind of splurged on these, and I think you'll see why. And you've probably seen it on my cover picture, if you get that on your at the beginning I'll make sure they're pretty they look beautiful it's kind of like a fade I guess you would say 
look at the pinks oh my gosh and then the like the um the one in the middle there i guess it's kind of tonal and it's kind of Oh, variegated. It's kind of like everything speckly. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. So this is one of their top brands. They sell Hirschners and it's called Willow. The brand is Willow and they sell a lot of different Willows. They even have hand dyed Willow. But this is Willow Quest. And um, this color, I'll tell you the colorways. This one's called Pink Cockatoo. This one is called Rainbow Fish. And this one is called Flamingo. I think that's perfect. This is more dusty pink than it's showing on my camera. Honestly, this is more dusty. It's, um, okay, this is 3.5 ounces, which is 100 grams, as we all know, 462 yards, 420 meters. Um, it's 50% merino superwash, 25% nylon, and 25% bamboo. It is made in Turkey. It says you can wash in cold water and you can spin it to dry. 2.75 millimeter knitting needles, 3.75 millimeter crochet hook. And it's rustic feeling. I don't mind it at all. Worth it with the colors they have. And of course it's merino, so you get the warmth with it. And it's a number, what number of yarn is this? I'm gonna say it's a number one fine weight because of with 100 grams it's 462. It's Probably leaning towards a lace weight because it has so many yards in it, but it's probably on a really thick side of a laced weight. So um, maybe one day I'll do a video on how to tell if you don't have a label what size of yarn you actually have just using a ruler, a pencil, and a marker. And of course the yarn you want to measure. So that's the Willow yarn. Love that stuff. Now I bought one of these guys. I don't know why, if it was just the only color, if I just wanted to try it. Um, let's see, Premier Wool Free Lace. There we go, $2. Well, it says I should have three of these. Hmm. I'm not sure why I have an odd ball. Premier Wool Free Lace. That's three balls. That's the three. Premier wool free. It's almost like, oh, here we go. Mm. Red hot. There should be a different one in here and I'm not seeing the different one. Oh, no, okay, I see what it is. Okay, they're $2.99. Just making sure. Yeah. Yeah, they're $2.99 a ball. They just package the three packs together. So they're $2.99 a ball, and they're sparkly, so I have three different kinds. But um, here is what the package looks like. And this, as I said, is wool free lace, 448 yards or 410 meters. It is 100 grams or 3.5 ounces, 88% acrylic, 5% metallic, and 7% PBT. It is a super fine number one weight. So that last one must have been number one as well because it had the same, a little bit more yards. It had 662, this has 448. So like I said, it's on the thinner side, even than this. Um, you use 2.75 millimeter knitting needles or 3.5 millimeter crochet hook. Machine wash and tumble dry, so it's real handy that way. Um, it has a picture of a shawl on here, guys, and it says to make this shawl, 
you only need one ball and it's on the back of the label so let's see if I could show it to you yeah that that shawl just takes one whole skein and you're done and it's very very pretty I'm not sure if it's crochet or knit free project and it doesn't say if it's knit or not at all that's too bad it's made in Turkey I hope I didn't leave anything out oh soft wise I could feel the sparkle that doesn't bother me that much on my scale of 1 to 10 for softness because that's usually how I do it I haven't did it as of yet I should have apologize for that maybe I'll put it on the picture or maybe I'll try to add it in I would say this is about a number six it's not real real scratchy but it's not anywhere near the softest yarn I've ever felt would be great for socks would be great for flowy maybe yeah I'm not too keen of it around for a shawl maybe it would make a beautiful hat um this colorway is called red hot I already said that earlier and here's the color and of course it's a little darker than what it shows on the camera so I will try to adjust the camera to show how deep it is or like I said I'll add the pictures in the other color I got and well the second color is called ooh, berry smash and these are $2.99 a piece I have a feeling this video is going to take me a while to edit out <laughs> and then the last color of course of course you'll see this you'll go this is Barb lilac dreams Isn't that beautiful? That is so gorgeous. The only thing I don't really care for in the Lilac Dream one is the red sparkle. I really wish it had just the silver that the other two had. Well, no, the other one had red too. So the, I wish I had this, the, the silver sparkle that the pink one did. I'm not too keen on the red sparkle. I mean, everybody's different, so somebody might must like it, right? But I would have loved it in a purple or a gold or a silver, something like that. The next one I bought because I've seen a pattern online for it. And uh, yeah, another one. So I knew I had to have this yarn. And this yarn, I want to make the Alaska hat that so many people are making. Not because everybody's making it. But because it's gorgeous so what I'd like to do is either do a medium to dark gray on the brim of the hat and then the main part of the hat is made with um, it has trees like big pine trees kind of evergreen that kind of tree and it's like a shadow so I would use the black or the dark gray for the trees and then this would make it look like the sunset either in the morning no sunset happens at night guys I didn't get the memo so the sunset or the sunrise so usually I see these colors in the sunset more up here in Canada but we're going to look fashion yarn um, I think it was on page two yes these were two dollars and 49 cents a piece so this is Hirschner's two ply fashion yarn look at these colors this colorway is called Tuscan Sun isn't that gorgeous for a sunset oh my goodness it's beautiful okay so for the Alaska hat I believe it is using it's a paid for pattern I never mind paying for patterns because I know how much it takes to make a pattern so it's well deserved for them to get their money but 
I think it's a made with fingering weight yarn. This is a number two weight yarn, but I'm sure I can adjust it, maybe the needle size or eliminate maybe one of the trees and figure out the math. There's a lot of projects. I believe there was like something like 10,000 projects on Ravelry under the, the Alaska hat pattern. So I'm sure on there somebody had made a number two weight yarn one that I'm pretty sure they actually used this exact yarn, somebody. Because I'm pretty sure I've seen the name Tuscan Sun by somebody. So I'll have to go back and look. So this two-ply fashion yarn, it's... We'll talk about what it's. It's a 100% acrylic. It feels more like a uh, rustic wool to me. It's not soft for like a lot of times acrylic it can be pretty soft. So this is on the cheaper end. Like this is probably a five to me in softness. But if I'm putting it on my head and that's what I want to make with it, these four balls would be all the Alaska hat. So hopefully I like doing the pattern. So 100% acrylic, like I said, number two fine weight yarn, um, two ounces. That doesn't make sense, does it? Oh yeah, two ounces, 56 grams, 220 yards or 201 meters. Um, using number four needles or a size E4 hook. May, machine wash dry flat it's made in china and tuscan sun is the colorway and i believe there's a yeah there's a color number i don't see a dye lot number but there could be a dye lot number so there's that i'm just going to press pause before my camera it stops at 30 every 30 minutes so i'm going to just press stop and then press record again okay i'm back the next yarn, there's only two more yarns left and then uh, a couple of other things that are craft related. So this yarn, I believe was 14, should be easy to find because it's the most expensive that I purchased. 14, oh no, maybe not. Sundance Soulful Stripes. I don't even remember that. Gray Sundance Soulful Stripes. Well, that was probably the first one that I did. I don't remember it. I'll have to go back and make sure I got that in the box because I don't see it. Anyway, this one is... I thought it was $14.99, but... Hmm... Kirshner's two ply gradient. Yep, I guess that's this. So it was this was $12.99. I thought for sure it was $14.99. Anyway, $12.99, I could be wrong. This is Hershner's Afghan yarn two ply, and it's their gradient. And of course, I chose purples. Look from the dark. A little bit lighter, a little bit lighter, and the lightest. This is gorgeous. Oh, I cannot wait to make something for, with this. I'm thinking a sweater but or a pullover, but I'm not positive. And I'm so thankful that it is not scratchy like the Tuscan Sun at all. This is really soft. And look at the halo guys on this. Hope you could see the halo because there's a bit of a halo. It's so lovely. It's 100% acrylic also, but I'm telling you, it's it's very lovely. Number two, fine weight. I probably said that already. Two ounces or 56 grams, 220 yards, 201 meters. Um, a four needle, four hook, number four. Uh, machine wash and dry flat and made in China. There is not a... Um, a dye lot number for these either but I'm always cautious with that so yeah this to me this almost looks oh it's really really lightly twisted it's very different from anything I'll try to get a picture and insert the picture my light just died I'm just going to pause the video because
get to see more of the true color without that light, but it got pretty darn dark. So just one second. Oh my gosh, guys. Now I'm sorry. I really almost feel like I should do this whole video over. <sighs> yeah, never know. I'm either going to have a lot, a lot of editing to do, or I'm going to just say heck with it and start all over once I get my battery pack plug thing you're in. Seems like my my ring light needs a certain plug for it so it doesn't overheat because when I just removed the pl plug I had it from an old iPhone or something it just overheats and I have to use then my Samsung so it only lasts about half an hour and then the the camera's either dying, my battery's either dying, or my ring light's either dying, and I can't win. That's pretty much my story. So, anyway, back to the yarn. I cannot wait to use this. Now, I was going to purchase colors that I, I know who I buy for for Christmas every single year, and I was going to purchase... A gradient for each woman that I buy for and make them each a sweater but it's hard not knowing a person's true size and everybody especially this year with COVID and everything everybody's body sh shapes are changing and and I'm not I think that's kind of a personal thing like you need to know chest measurements you need to know arm lengths and it's hard so shawls are much easier and I'm not sure Probably if I made a shawl, I'd be able to make two shawls out of one package, but I'm not sure. But guys, I got in the mail today, a, my, I, at the beginning of the video, I had told you about that I paid $19.99 for what they call, it's on my list here, because they have to show it because I purchased it, um, a sa Smart Savings Club membership, $19.99. And it started the day that I had made my phone call. So I saved 10% for the next year up till that date. Well, they also sent me a coupon code for free shipping. I'm in Canada, so I don't get free shipping. So the shipping for this order, I think, was 20 some dollars. I don't know if it even says on here, the shipping... I'm not at all sure. I know it said it when I sent it. Like when I got the receipt. Oh, here we go. Um, shipping was $32.17. And then the taxes. And then uh, I got a discount of the $57. So I technically saved, saved that anyway. So... I think the $57, yeah, I saved the $57, but not the 10%. I guess they only let me get one of those off. It was one or the other, so I couldn't use both coupon codes. So the 57% was greater, so they let me use that. So I was wondering why it was a little bit off sounding to me. So our last yarn, last but not least, I'm not going to pull them all out. I purchased four and four. So Hirschner's Halloween colors. I just thought they were so fun. I think they were a dollar something a piece. Maybe. Hirschner's. Hirschner's Halloween yarn. Yeah, a dollar forty nine a ball. A dollar forty nine. Like even with exchange, I'm paying two it's two dollars. Honestly. Two bucks plus taxes. So awesome. They're, they're both have sparkles in them, like a silver sparkle. So here they are. I had on my paper only the um, orange color, orangish goldish color. And then when I was talking to the gentleman, he goes, $1.49, that's such a great deal. And he goes, just the one color. And I'm like, oh, no, throw the green in as well. They had purple, but they were sold out. So this orangey, oh, goldy color is called orange. Needless to say, it's called orange. 
to me it looks more like a gold deep deep gold color and the green colorway is called green go figure love it so these are a number four worsted weight they're 98 percent acrylic and two percent polyester and they're pretty soft you could feel the sparkle in it but they're very soft like i'd wear them on my neck no problem so maybe i'll make a halloween shawl out of them and a hat to match and even mitts i'd have enough i've got eight balls total so these are 1.75 ounces each or 50 grams 90 yards or 82 meters you use an um h8 hook which i know off the top of my head is a five millimeter because it's a favorite my favorite size of hook or the same with knitting needles so five millimeter knitting needles you machine wash dry flat i would wash it in cold water it doesn't say that made in china and these are the hirschners hirschners halloween i don't know if they glow it shows stars and moons so i'm not sure if they glow in the dark or anything but they're very bright so very pretty yarn i'm not sure up for stitch definition they're like a really tightly wound yarn with the sparkle in it so they're pretty now just a few little doohickeys that I purchased that are craft related. So here we go. Just things that I wanted and I knew they had. And I'll save my husband's one thing that I got for him at the end. So I got this um, clover yarn guide. It goes on your finger and then you could put multiple strands of yarn on the inside. So when you're continental knitting and changing colors or for tension or whatever you your heart desires I hope that shows up if not of course I'll insert a picture then I wanted a thimble so whether I'm sewing whether I am knitting with a very sharp needle i'm not sure if i'm going to be able to do it i tried it with a silicone one once but because yeah it just doesn't work very well but that's really what i bought it for so fingers crossed i could get used to it so this is a leather one and at my michaels a leather one is 21.99 canadian oh i forgot to say how much this yarn guide was just one second um well, it'll probably take me longer than a second to find it. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. My goodness. Hirschner's crochet yarn, yarn guide, $2.39. That's like a dollar store item. Like it's that cheap, right? And then the, what is this called? leather thimble let's see if that's on the yeah, front six dollars and 99 cents i find i splurged on this but at michael's 21.99 for one that's not as nice as this one i hope that's showing up for you guys and then the second last thing i got i seen this on the last page um 21.99 and it's a whole pack of susan bates bamboo handle crochet hooks i'll take them out of the bag but just to show you how many there are i have not touched anything i i mean it's took it taken restraint for this big box to sit here for the last couple days actually a few days because it was i got in on friday and today is Wednesday. Here's the hooks. So not sure. See, look how this nice size of the handle. It's a really nice big handle. So I'm going to organize them here real quick so I can tell you which sizes they start with. Ten five four four five okay so i got a 3.5 millimeter a four millimeter maybe i should say the sizes 3.5 
an E, or a number 4 US. A 4 millimeter, which is a G, or a 6 US. A 4.5 millimeter, or a US 7. I guess there's no number for that one. A 5 millimeter, an H hook, or an 8 US. 5.5 millimeter, an I, or a 9 US. Then we go to into the 6 millimeter, which is a J, which is a 10 US. 6.5 millimeter K, or 10 and a half number US. 8 millimeter, or an L, or an 11 US. A 9 millimeter or an M or a 13 US. And lastly is a 10 millimeter, an N, and a 15 US. That's the largest, is 10 millimeter. Um, as you notice, it skips 7 millimeter. I don't know if it's because of the US numbering, because the US numbering like it goes from 10 and a half to 11. So it skips that number I'm not sure you know what's weird is that it does that for a uh, for knitting needles as well I looked up and I was looking for knitting needles and it skips number seven all the time I there must be a reason if anybody knows I'd love to know I don't know why yeah because it goes 6.5 all the way to the eight millimeter so it's a k to the l it doesn't have the the in the middle and it goes from a 10 and a half to an 11 so if there was a 10 and three quarters I guess it would be seven or a seven and a half millimeter I don't know so that was my second last and then the last thing is the thing I got for my husband and it is stinking cool it was $39.99 and it's a tractor puzzle mechanical gear and it actually moves It's a wind-up toy. It has a wind-up gear, and when you wind it up, it drives and it goes so far, but it's more like the puzzle, the um, model side of it. He enjoys doing models, and it's just to, his way of winding down. I would love it. Oh, it would be my total dream if one of my guys asked me to teach them how to crochet or knit. But I know that's not going to happen. But they love their models. My oldest son does model models every day and does beautiful models. Actually, he did me one. Maybe I'll show it on one of my videos. Um, my dream car is a Charger. And he did me a pinky purpley uh, char char Dodge Charger. Beautiful. I have it in a nice display case so it doesn't get dusty or anything. But this here, self-assembly, no battery, no glue. It's mechanical and it's cut by laser and everything's numbered and it tells you the order to do it in and it's just we watched a video there's a video online on how to use it or how how it looks when it's moving it's so cool that I was like oh yeah that's a definite must-have so I got this for him for Valentine's Day I guess since I didn't get him anything for Valentine's Day. We can't go out anywhere. He managed to, him and my youngest son managed to spoil me rotten to see some cards. And I got a teddy bear from each of them and an ice cream cake from Dairy Queen, which was a guilty pleasure. And yeah, and my son also gave me some sugar-free chocolates, Russell Stouffer chocolates. So, chocolates. I don't know what a chocolate is, but chocolates. I'm not a big on chocolates, but they're kind of guilt-free, and the odd time is a nice time to have one. So yeah, that was my Hirschner's haul, guys. Um, I apologize for all the blurriness if I left it in there. Uh, I guess I've got some time. I have to. I might wait till the morning till there's like some nice natural light coming in to take those photos, and it's probably going to take me all day to edit all the pictures in and I'll try to remember to put the price if I could figure out how to put the price on the photos 
I'll try to remember to do that. It would be nice if I took the time to put all the information on each of photos. We'll see how long that takes. That would be my dream to make sure to put the number of weight it takes and the, the soft, like all of that stuff, have it all included on the photo, but mm, I'm not sure if I, you know, it's such a big yarn haul. So, so that's it. I, like I said, I got the new other coupon for Hershner's, so I wasn't going to order any more this year, but I mean, with a coupon like that with free shipping and 10 more percent off, so that would be on a hundred dollar order, that would be 10 savings of $30 right there, just on a hundred dollars because I would um, save on shipping. And I know a hundred dollars worth of yarn from Hershner's is $17 to ship to Canada, and there is no free shipping. I mean, if you spend $400, you still don't get free shipping. So I will take full advantage. So what I'll do is I'll wait for a really, really good sale. And if anybody hears of any good Hershner sales, or I love the grab bags, and they didn't have any that you can, mystery bags that you don't know what's inside. There was none left. So I might wait all the way till closer to Christmas again to see if they have those grab bags again. So... Sorry guys, I'm babbling because I've got nobody here to talk to right now and I'm really enjoying our time so I better let y'all go. So I hope everybody is having a great week and I really, I've been doing a lot of stuff to try to get my videos out and researching what I could do for a cord for my camera and I haven't been really getting much done in the way of knitting and crocheting. So this will unfortunately be the only video. There will be no podcast this week. Hopefully for the weekend I can get a bunch of stuff done so that I can show you next week. Because I really want to be able to have enough to show you on a video. I mean it doesn't have to be as huge as last time. I could do one with a three or four items. But Anyway guys. Take care. Have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. I usually like to say what day it is and all that stuff, but you get the drift. Take care, everybody. Be safe. Be happy. Be well. And until next time, keep on being naughty. Thanks for joining me and sticking around till the end, guys. I really, really, really greatly appreciate it. Thank you one and all, as always. Bye for now.